Okay, so the, the main answers are A and B, but there's also an answer sitting at E. Um, anyone want to give me a, a supporting reason for A or B? Yeah. And the question, are you asking that the particular energy is rising because the force is upward? Uh, what, I, what I'm telling you, I guess, is that um, forces always act in a direction that decreases the potential energy. So which of those has a smaller potential energy in the upward direction? Which of them has a smaller potential energy as you go higher and higher? Because uh, the, if you want the force to be upward, you need the potential energy to get smaller and smaller and smaller in that direction. Because forces always act in a direction that decreases the potential energy. So does A, does the potential energy for A get smaller and smaller as the height goes up? How many say yes? How many say no? Okay, so does that work? Is the force in the direction, it, if the potential energy is getting smaller and smaller and smaller as you go up, then the statement up above says the force must be upward. The force is in the direction that the potential energy is getting smaller. Yeah? I'm getting kind of lost with this concept because aren't I doing a force in the pencil F which increases potential energy? So like why does it always have to decrease potential energy? The potential energy by I should I should take a step back here first. First things first. I should take a step back and say this relationship where you introduce potential energies to talk about forces only works for gravitational interaction, spring interaction, molecular interaction, so molecular forces, uh, electrical forces. It works for lots of forces, but it does not work for any forces that involve dissipation. So it works for the Earth's gravity because there's no dissipation involved. It does not work for air resistance and it doesn't actually work for forces that I use because those are involve dissipation also inside me. And so it's not good for, it's good for a lot of forces. If you want to talk about two chemical binding, it's great for those forces because those don't involve dissipation, the, the atom-atom uh, attraction or repulsion. But, so, so we're going to use it a lot, but there's some forces that it's not going to work for. And you pointed out <laughs> one of them that came up today that it doesn't work for. There is no potential energy for. But there is a gravitational potential energy because the potential energy works for that and the gravitational potential energy, uh, the force is downward and the gravitational potential energy, the slope looks like that. If you want a force that's upward, you need one that slopes the other way. So A was the one that I was looking for there. Yeah? I don't understand how potential energy goes down as height goes, as height increases. Uh, that's what the graph tells you. Now, do you want to say, I don't understand what situation that would happen in? What real physical situation could that go with? Uh, I don't know of any either. You might call that anti-gravity. There is no such thing as far as I know, but if I had to give it a name, it would be something. It's a force upward. There are no forces, as far as I know, there are no forces that look like that. Where, that look exactly like that, you know, near the Earth. Now, we, we'll come to, we'll come to uh, forces in, I mean, potential energies in, in, if we hurry, 
uh, in about five minutes where you can see what, how the sign can be different. But, but you're right. There is no potential energy, physical potential energy that, that a simple one that I know of that looks like that. So I'm not, I'm asking a, a theoretical question. If you look at that, these potential energy graphs, which of them shows a force that's always upward? And what that means is, which of them is the potential energy always going down as you get higher? <coughs> This one, for instance, the potential energy goes down as you get higher and higher, but if you get lower than zero, uh, then the potential energy goes down when you get lower. So it's not always higher. So D doesn't work. And E doesn't work. A is the one where the force is always upward. Um, let's, no, let's do this one. So, potential energies are positional energies, they're interaction energies, they depend on the locations of two things. Here are two things. There's a tennis ball right there. Really, let me call it a, well, let me call it a tennis ball. Let me call that a tennis ball. Suppose, so here's another unphysical, unreal potential energy. Suppose the potential energy varied with the distance between them in that way right there. So the potential energy is large when they're far apart. When R is big, R is the distance between them. So when they're far apart, you're way over here, R is big, and when you get close, and potential energy is big, and when they come closer together, the potential energy goes down. So that's what this picture tells you. Suppose there was a something like that. Distance between the two objects is R. Is this interaction between these two objects an attractive interaction or a repulsive interaction? Are they each, is there a force on each one pulling them together? Or are there forces on each of the two pushing them apart? That's the question. An attractive interaction is when there's a force on this one pulling it that way toward the other one, and there's a force on this one pulling it toward that one, so they both get pulled together. So is this an attractive interaction, or is it a repulsive interaction where there's a force on this one by that one that, a force on this one by this one that pushes it that way, and a force on this one that's pushing it that way. So are they being pushed apart, or are there forces pulling them together? <coughs> 